Um, wow. Um, what a performance by our guys. Uh, it, we had to respond after a uh, tough loss last week, and uh, um, guys had a really good week of preparation, and uh, we were focused. We were excited to be at home. We hadn't been home since October 1st. I told the guys uh, on Thursday, I told the guys this morning to be where your feet are. It's one of the greatest environments in college football. We were going to have a sellout crowd. It was homecoming. Uh, embrace this and uh, embrace the fans. Embrace uh, the fact that it was going to be crazy loud. Uh, and then just cut it loose and let it rip. Um, and uh, play without fear. And uh, up until you know, when we went in at whatever time we went in, 14, 15, 25 minutes before we play, whenever we do go in, that's when we made the decision. Uh, and... Um, Colin and I spoke with both quarterbacks together, and um, um, Adrian didn't feel like he was 100% confident in what he was going to be able to do, and I appreciate that because the kid's a team player, and uh, we knew we were going to be good either way because Will had taken most of the reps with the ones, and this game we thought was going to be less quarterback run and more spinning it and throwing the football around, and so... We made the decision that uh, Will was going to go. Everybody was at peace with that decision. Um, I don't know what will happen next week, but I will worry about next week after press conference, and I'll figure it out after then. But uh, uh, can't uh, be more proud of Will Howard and uh, how he came out and, and uh, electrified the crowd, electrified our team, uh, had great poise, had great confidence. The fourth down play uh, ignited us, going for it on fourth and long, and uh, Cade making a big touchdown. And uh, I just thought we stayed in the fight the entire time. This game I never felt was uh, comfortable uh, until midway through the fourth quarter, and I just kept telling those guys, stay in the fight, stay in the fight. And, and they did that. I thought our defense was phenomenal uh, and uh, held a really good – Offense to, to no points somehow, uh, which is crazy, as talented as they are. Um, we played as well as we could play. And uh, I'm, I'm excited for our guys. And we're going to enjoy this for 24 hours, and we got to get back to work. Is that the, the Will Howard you've been raving about, you know, seeing in practice for the last few years? Yeah, and I've seen the confidence grow in Will um, really since spring. You get to realize he was the number one in the spring because he was the you know he and Jake, but he was the number one, and so he took all the reps with the ones. And then in fall camp, uh, we started you know intermixing those reps with uh, uh, with Adrian. But he he's just such a confident guy, and all the stuff that he has gone through has prepared him for this moment. It prepared him for last week too, and uh, um, our guys, our our players, and this is a player led team. Our players believe in him defensive minded head coach it's where you made made it in your career where does this performance rank for teams that you've had in your uh, career it, as good as I've ever been a part of this is as good a win collectively uh, as as I've been a part of and and I'm a big believer and I, I've been like this for for quite a while not only as a head coach but in different people that I've been under um, you got to play complimentary football you have to be really good on offense. You have to be really good on defense. And you have to be really good on special teams in order to really sustain success. And we're not there yet. We're, this was a good step forward. But offense fed off the defense. Defense fed off the offense. Ty Zentner was really good today. Phillip Brooks had a big return. Um, you know, we need to play complementary football and be good in all three phases. And we were really good in all three phases today. How do you think Will has improved the most since we saw him in the live game last season? Uh, just his his um, vision downfield, his pre-snap looks on things. He sees the field. It's this, All that stuff has slowed down for him. And so he knows what he's getting and trusts his read and trusts his eyes, and then he just goes and plays fast. And uh, um, that's where I've seen the most growth is just uh, – how well he sees the field, and uh, he's seen a lot of football. It's crazy. Uh, is I don't know if you guys consider him a young kid or an old kid, but he's seen a lot of football, and uh, you can tell it's starting to slow down for him. I also wonder, what's impressing you most about Cade Warner right now? He's kind of turned into a highlight machine the last two weeks for you. You know, Cade's a highlight machine, he'll tell you. <laughs> and uh, um, I'm a – I'm a big believer. I, I was. That's why I went really hard to try to make sure he did come back this uh, for uh, his sixth year here. You, you guys know my relationship with his father. 
Uh, and I couldn't be more excited for Cade because Cade just makes plays. And um, uh, he made a couple of really big plays today, and he's one of the best leaders that we have, and I'm excited for Cade. Given where you were on the field, you go from fourth and five to fourth and ten. What was the decision process involved with that? Well, we were rolling the dice at fourth and five, and when we had the false start or whatever it was, um, I, at the time, I didn't think field goals were going to win this game, and I didn't want to punt it to them. We took the ball. Um, we won the toss. We took the ball, and we won the toss. And I wanted to make sure we did something with that or, or died trying to do it. And so um, Colin thought he had a really good play drawn up, and Will ripped it and um, got off to that 7 nothing lead. That was big for us. What was the performance of your offensive line today? Really good against one of the best fronts uh, that plays in the Big 12. I mean, they were really, really talented on the defensive front. And I don't know, did we give up uh, many sacks or a sack? I didn't see it. But Will had great protection against a dynamite front. And we were able to run the ball well enough that gave us some play action shots and gave us some opportunities to work the ball downfield. Coach, I know you talked last week about how maybe you felt like you left, you let your foot off the accelerator a little bit. You get up to that early lead. Is there an added emphasis to continue to go and, and keep that foot on the gas? Um, I, I don't know. You know, uh, we were we were taking what they were giving us, and and some of that was some vertical balls. And when we had possessions early on in that first and second quarter, we pushed the ball downfield. I thought the the touchdown before half was really critical. I didn't want to have the same thing happen as happened last week where we either kick a field goal, um, score, and then they score and then get the ball back and score again. So we were going to try to milk the clock. Uh, I was hoping Will would get in. He didn't. Uh, so on whatever was it, third and short when we threw the pass to, to Deuce. Um, I don't know. We were probably going to go for it if we didn't make it. But I, I didn't, want, didn't want to run the ball and have no chance. And is this the best you've seen Malik Knowles play in your time here? Well, Malik's playing with a lot of confidence. And uh, it's fun to watch Malik get better uh, as the season goes along. He's really engaged. He's really excited about what we're doing offensively. We're involving the kid uh, an awful lot, which we, sh we, sh we should and we have to. I thought the play that he made on the, on the quick little screen that uh, I think that was a third and long or something, he makes a kid miss and gets a big first down. Um, there was only going to be so many possessions in that second half. And so we needed to take some time off the clock, you know, not totally keep our foot on the gas, but we didn't go as much tempo and didn't go hurry up and stuff. Um, but we needed to get some first downs. And um, I probably would have gone for it on the one fourth and two. Uh, but um, I thought it was important to get Ty uh, continued confidence. And so he banged that field goal. Coach, I'm obviously a little new here, so I don't know if you've had – a field storm like that before, but emotionally, what's that like to experience for not just yourself, but your entire program? Well, um, you know, uh, I, unfortunately, I've been on a lot of the other ends of those things. Whenever we lost a game at North Dakota State, everybody's stormed the field. So I was on, uh, I think we lost whatever, about eight times in my time there and seven times they stormed the field. So um, I've seen that phase of it. Uh, I was a part of it last week and uh, part of it at Oklahoma a few years back. And it's, our players deserve that. Our players deserve to celebrate with uh, the great students that came out to support us, the band, um, our, our great community and our great state that uh, came out and supported us. I, I credit our kids. And I don't know if you were able to see this on the Jumbotron or with your own eyes in front of you, but Will Howard got picked up and carried off the field, it looked like, by the students. What's that like to see as a coach? I, I don't know. I didn't see it, so um, we'll move on on that. I don't really know. Uh, Coach, you played without Deuce Green, but Nick Allen led your team in tackles. How important was he today? Yeah, he was he was big today. Deuce uh, didn't practice most of the week, and uh, he tried. Adrian tried. They they just couldn't go. Um, we're fortunate. We've got uh, Will behind Adrian, and Nick Allen, I think, is a terrific football player. And we took him off special teams, but uh, he played excellent at, at inside linebacker. He's you know one of our uh, he got one of our, our Hammer Awards today just because I think he's such a warrior. He he just personifies what K-State football is. He walked on here. It hasn't always gone great. He's been 
beat up a lot, uh, earned a scholarship from us, and uh, has played really good football for us, and he's always there. And, and just like Will, not going to complain. When I get up my opportunity, I'm going to make the most of it. Well, so you got Khalid back at halftime, but we saw him with his hand on the ground at DN. Is that something you're going to do on occasion now? Well, we were – we knew it was going to be a throw game in the second half, and we just wanted to get him more snaps. Uh, I really thought Dez was playing well. And with the pass game stuff, Dez is pretty good in, in zone coverage, so we were trying to find ways to get Cleed uh, on the field and continue to rotate some of our rushers. And uh, I, I, he's a really talented kid, so we were end up putting him at DN some. Coach, your defense was really spectacular today on third and fourth down. Was that an emphasis throughout the week in practice, and do you feel like it was executed well today? Yeah, I mean, we were really poor last week on third down, and then you're on the field way too much. And so we were able to get off the field here. Uh, we were three for three on fourth. They were one for four. Both teams were, I think, five for 15. But getting off the field allowed us to um, – protect and hang on the football. To have that thing 35 plus minutes compared to 24, I thought was really important for our, our team to keep our defense fresh and ready, especially when we were down Cleed, uh, we were down Daniel Green, some of the other guys were nicked up. Uh, I think it was really important to keep our guys fresh. And then coach, what does it mean for this program and some of these seniors, especially a guy like Adrian Martinez to be bowl eligible? You know, it's huge for, for our program and that's not the ultimate goal, but uh, um, that's one of our goals, and we want to play postseason football. And, and we'll talk about this on Monday. But I, I'm really hopeful and think that the indoor is going to be done in December uh, for these kids that have been around here for an awful long time to be able to experience that. And that's something we've never talked about. We'll talk about it on Monday um, because uh, they're going to get to practice in there in December whenever we end up playing. And that's really important to me because it's the foundation that those guys built, which allowed Gene and some of the administrators to go help raise some money so that those kids could have that indoor. And I, I, I'm excited for all those six-year, fifth-year guys to get a chance to practice in there. <laughs> you take it, how it fits. We help him out with this stuff. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, it, we need to get that thing done. <laughs> you guys had three, uh, three more turnovers today. All of your turnover, turnovers have come at home. Does that just show the importance of, of the home crowd kind of being in this environment? I thought some guys did a really good job stripping the football out. And um, we probably had a chance for a couple more. But uh, it's something we emphasize. And um, you know, did we turn the football over today? I don't think we did, did we? Yeah, that, that was important. You know, you, you can't give Oklahoma State short fields if the explosives explosive as they are. Jake Clifton had a couple nice open field tackles. How'd you feel like he did? And and, and you mentioned Des. Yeah, as well. I, I do need to tell you guys. Um, so we had a bad deal happen uh, midweek last week. Bo Palmer, uh, we lost him for the season at practice, and and an unfortunate incident. And uh, he'll ha he'll have surgery here in the near future. So we really had Nick Allen at Mike Backer until on Thursday we said, hey, by the way, Jake Clifton, as a true freshman, you're going to now be a Mike Backer. And he played, I don't know, a handful of snaps at Mike Backer, probably about the same amount of snaps he got on Thursday at practice. Shows you the quality of a kid he is and how smart a football player he is because based on what Deuce Green can do, he's going to be our backup Mike Backer um, uh, for the rest of the year. Flashback two years ago against Oklahoma State, Will Howard starts. There's two turnovers in the fourth quarter. And I'm sure Will got a lot of criticism for how that game yeah. wrapped up. Is it poetic that he has a game like this today against Oklahoma State? Boy, I hope so. Um, Will's, I guess Will may play Oklahoma State eight times before it's all said and done because he's got a lot of football potentially left. I, I, once again, whatever the games were, I'm just excited that Will, Will Howard got, uh, um, got what he deserved, which is he's a really good football player and played exceptional today and uh, played at home exceptional. Coach, just your approach to the week, and you can only give so many rally the troop, rally the troops, coach, coaching. Uh, yeah. From you last know, week, you're saying? Just coming into this week off of the TCU game. Yeah, um, rise up. When people doubt you, rise up. And uh, I hit that with the older guys, hit it with the captains. Um, and once again, 
you guys are going to make the difference here. The players are. And we've got great coaches. We've got great support staff. We've got a phenomenal strength staff. Um, but this is a player-led team. And the players are going to be determining the success we have. And they bought in all week long. They challenged each other all week long. That is, that is a dynamite locker room down there full of a bunch of great men that uh, I, I'm proud to be the head football coach because of the product we have and the product we had today on the field, I'm more proud of the type of kids that we have in that program. Last question there, Ryan. The fact you were able to shut them down and also get off the field, how big was it to have that early lead which forced Oklahoma State to, it, to maybe throw it more than Yeah, that? Um, I think they had to throw it. We, we did a good job stopping the run, so that was, that was really good as well. And then we were able to make some explosive plays. So I'll finish it with this. Nobody mentioned Deuce Vaughn. 22 carries, 158 yards. Kid's a pretty good football player. And, uh, and that that's, that's shows you that where we're at and how we're continuing to grow and, and develop with our guys. But uh, uh, Deuce Vaughn had a 62-yard run um, and had a one-yard touchdown pass rush for 158 yards. He's pretty good, too. See you guys.